This is Mike Baca for UCN Live. I'm here with the WBC 115 pound champion, Carlos the Prince Quadras. He takes on Chocolatito Gonzalez September 10th in the main event at the forum and broadcast on HBO. Uh, Carlos, my first question is simple. Why do you fight? Why do you fight? I fight because I love it. It's my passion. The is my Es mi trabajo también y, y pues de eso vivo y, y por eso boxeo, porque me gusta. I love boxing, you know. I work, uh, I work hard at it, I enjoy it, it's my passion. And uh, now it's my job, but I enjoy it more than anything. Where does the Prince come from? Where does that nickname come from? Salió el apodo del Príncipe. Bueno, ya, ya me han dicho. Pues el chile es que cuando yo me hice profesional, eh, yo solo era Carlos Cuadras y, y José Luis Bueno, Mi ex entrenador siempre me decía que, que necesitaba un apodo y yo no quería ninguno y me decían el metralleta, el, el, el demoledor, muchas cosas y yo no quería ninguno y entonces me empezaron a decir que parecía una princesa porque no quería nada y después de princesa y ya se quedó mejor príncipe. You know, when I was starting out, I didn't have a nickname, and they kept telling me I needed one. My uh, ex-trainer, Jose Luis Bueno, the former world champion, kept t giving me names. How about this one? How about that one? I said, no, I don't want any names. And then everybody at the gym go, oh, what a princess you are for not wanting a nickname. He goes, I don't want princess. I'll take principe. <laughs> I'll take the prince rather than a princess. All right, right. Well, as the prince, do you think Chocolatito is the pound-for-pound pound king? ¿Tú crees que él es el mejor peleador del mundo, libra por libra? Bueno, yo... Yo pienso que, que ese 10 de septiembre se le va a quitar porque el mejor voy a ser yo. Y qué bueno que vaya a pelear con el mejor libra por libra. Y qué bueno que la gente piense eso porque yo lo voy a ganar. Entonces el que va a subir soy yo. You know, that's what he kept telling me, that he's the best fighter uh, pound for pound uh, in the world. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll get in the ring and then once I beat him, then maybe I'll be the best pound for pound. I don't know. We'll have to get in the ring and find out. I think you would agree in saying that this is going to be your toughest fight to date. But looking back at your fights in the past, who has given you the toughest fight? Todos piensan que es la pelea más difícil de tu carrera, que es la más. Tú hay hay una pelea que ya pasó que la consideras tú la más difícil de tu carrera. No, no, sin duda esta es la pelea más dura. Es el mejor peleador que que voy a enfrentar, que que tiene el mayor récord. Y yo creo que siempre lo he dicho, la pelea más difícil de mi carrera es la que está por venir, porque no sé qué va a pasar. You know, without a doubt, I mean, look at what he's done, the accomplishment he has, uh, you have to respect all that. You know, what he's gone through, the, all the championships. So he is a very special fighter. He, he, I, mean, I look at it as the toughest opponent in my career. I think he will be the toughest fighter in my career. But going back in your other fights in the past, is there one fight that sticks out as, you know, the one where you got away, it was a close one? Una pelea que tú sientes que, ah, qué bueno que gané esa pelea, que a lo mejor te sientes que tuviste que luchar más de lo que esperabas para ganar una pelea. No, pues gracias a Dios todas mis peleas han sido muy claras, eh, siempre me preparo al 100 y pues nunca he tenido así una, una decisión que diga, eh, que esté dudoso, qué bueno que gané, siempre estoy seguro de que me van a levantar la mano. You know, every time I gone in there and I fought, I never felt that I lost a fight. Uh, I think I won all my fights very clearly. There wasn't one, you know, where you felt it was like death or, you know, in there. Uh, I, th I think uh, I've been, so far, I've done well. Absolutely, and uh, waking up every day and training for this fight, it's kind of easy to wake up with a challenge ahead of you like this one. Um, what, are there any flaws in Chocolatito that you see? Hay alguna debilidad que hay que aprovechar con González para esta pelea que tú veas y digas, hay que aprovechar eso. Bueno, pues yo pienso que que no es tan rápido como yo, yo soy más rápido, eso es mi ventaja sobre él y, y que se le dificulta cuando un boxeador se le mueve, entonces así vamos a trabajar. You know, I, I always see him as a slow fighter. He doesn't move real well in the ring anymore, and I see that uh, that's what I can take advantage of. I'm very quick, I'm very fast, uh, there's movement in my, in my legs, and I think that's going to be the biggest advantage that I have. Do you think you may see a different fighter considering Chocolatito has not fought at this weight before, and in, in fights in the past, he has looked a little weight drained in the, in the days leading up to it? El, el subir a 115 va a ser algo para él diferente, tú ya estás impuesto eso. ¿Crees que va a ser difícil para él subir a 115? Ya ha estado teniendo problemas con el peso las últimas peleas. Bueno, difícil para subir, no, no le va a costar trabajo. 
Pero lo que le va a costar trabajo es aguantar la pegada porque nadie le ha pegado tan duro como un 115 libras tan fuerte como yo. I don't think he'll have any problem getting in there making the weight, but once he gets in the ring, he'll feel a real 115, a real power of someone and he's never felt that before. Your fighting style is relentless at times. Uh, sometimes it makes you look angry in the ring. Other times, you're smiling, like right now. You're always smiling and having, uh, having fun with it. When you're in the ring, are you angry or are you happy? Sé que hay unas peleas que te ves como que estás enojado en el ring, que estás dando todo con todo, y otras veces estás sonriendo. ¿Cuál es la verdadera personalidad tuya en el ring? Bueno, pues, yo siempre soy feliz, pero si me hacen enojar, pues me enojo. Así que... Depende de cómo, cómo esté la pelea, pues son, vamos a salir contentos o enojados. Yo siempre estoy contento por esta oportunidad, así que yo pienso que voy a estar contento, pero si arriba del ritmo me enojo, que se aguante el chocolate porque le voy a dar con todo. You know, I'm always happy. I always enjoy. I have a good time up in the ring. You know, I just have a good time. But once in a while, I'll get pissed off in there. People will get me mad. And I, don't, I hope he doesn't do that to me, because when I get mad, I really get mad. Well, good luck on September 10th. We'll see you there at the Forum, HBO main event for Carlos Cuadras. This is Mike Baca for UCN Live. I have the power, man. I have the power.